here we are. Hey, I'm back. I started to do some more um, comic mystery boxes. Um, I wanted to do that because I can. It's fun. This 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 guy, by the way, wasn't a mystery box. This was uh, this was something I, I ordered online. I can order comic books online. <laughs> I remember when I was growing up, you had to have a money order and you had to send it away in the mail. And uh, then it would get to you or it wouldn't. And uh, I did it once and it didn't get to me. And I wrote a letter to them saying, oh, you guys, you never sent it to me. I'm going to, you know, tell you, uh, tell, tell about you to the local news investigative reports. <laughs> and then they just refunded my money. I don't know exactly what happened. Who's talking to me? Uh, hold on a second. I got some peeps that want to check out my stuff. And I'm going to send it. Peter doop poop doop All right, here we are. So um, so this is just, this is from the 90s. This is kind of after I stopped collecting, a little later after I was in college and stuff. No Law, No Order, uh, Batman, No Man's Land. I just was like, oh, you know what? Just had to set up the camera. <laughs> I'm a professional. Hold on. You know attention. All right. The other thing I want to show you real quick, I got this. This is a book, y'all. It's a comic book, but it's it's a book size. Batgirl returns omnibus. That's French for big book. Look at how thick that is. There's like uh, thirty-seven or thirty-eight comic books in here, and they look dope. And I got it. I bought it online. Look at oh, I just opened that at random. That looks great. Man, it's so cool. Um, so I'm I'm just starting to read this. I have the first four episodes issues that, of this of the restart of uh, the uh, new Fifty Two for Batgirl. I love Batgirl. She's awesome. Anyway, that's that. Now I got the mystery bag. Take a look. Oh, already. <laughs> just off the top. I think this is going to be fun. I hope. All right. So a lot of Marvel in these mystery bags, which is fine. I wasn't a real big uh, Marvel collector, so it's probably just as well because um, it adds to my collection in a way that I wouldn't otherwise. So here we go. Going up blind. You'll see it as soon as I do. Cool. Peter Parker, Spider-Man. The horror returns. Venom is back. It's a little fuzzy. I don't know if you're able to see that so well a lot of reflections and stuff i could have done a better job overall but anyway let me see there you go the horror is back horror returns what year is this this has got to be late 90s early 2000s i have no idea it's september 9 this is not in great shape um but it's interesting art. Oh, and there's like paint or something on the. Oh, it's on the bag. So yeah, you never know what you're gonna get with these scrap bags. But cool, Spider-Man. Where do I put these? Been a while. All right. So this next one is not in a bag. It's loose. Let's see what we got. Nick Fury, Agents of Shield. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> next. Spider-Man, Storm, and Power Man. Which one is Power Man in that? It's Battle Smokescreen. <laughs> uh, yeah, Storm and Storm is not there. So if Storm is battling Smokescreen, wouldn't Storm win because she controls weather and stuff? Uh, that's what I think. Ooh, what's happening? Ooh, hold on a second. Main page. Oh, I can't. I can't send any. Oh, because I had it on. I had it on airplane mode, y'all. Uh, personal account. I'm trying to give people directions on where they can see this. Anyway, hi. I'm back. Uh, yeah. So what is this? This is a photocopy. What is this? Oh, 
yo, this is like, I don't even know what this is. Somebody made a photocopy comic and they put it and they stapled it and everything. What? Somebody reprinted, or is this just that cheap? I have no idea what this is. This, but it looks like a bad print. Or is this just a? Oh, okay. This is for the American Cancer Society. This is just a team up. <laughs> they paid Marvel to make a comic book for kids not to smoke. All right, that's why it's so cheesy. Yeah. So yeah, this is worth two cents. <laughs> but behind it was another comic book. Good, good thing I noticed that. A two for one. Spider-Man Revenge of the Rhino. Oh, look out. I don't know what year this is. This looks like it's in the 2000s. Yeah. All right. So again, we got we got two for one and we got something that that's pretty pretty unique. I'm going to put it in the back of this bag. So you got the smoking guy there. There you go. By the way, do you like my new friend? My green green guy. This I got at a Comic-Con years back. Mad Nits. His name is Reggie. And it's uh it was fun. They're homemade, like, one at a time. Made in Providence, Rhode Island, which is just south of Massachusetts. And yes, that is my real great-grandma. Her name is Santa, or was Santa, and we shared a birthday. I was born exactly 80 years later. All right, he's fine. All right, here we go. Next, what we got? Oh, this is in really bad shape, you guys. Oh. The smelting pool. Oh no, I'm falling into the smelting pool. I remember the Transformers comics. The covers were pretty cool, but the insides, the art is just kind of like, mm, not great. I'll show you what I mean. It's just kind of like, mm, it's okay. It looks, it looks like a comic book from like the 60s or 70s. I think these were in the 90s or, or later. All right. Ooh, I think I see Batman. I saw Chuck Dixon as a name, and I saw a sleeve of a certain... Yes. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is very cool. Oh, I think... Literally, I just ordered this online as a back issue. So, it, <laughs> so in the 90s... Uh, uh, cards of, of superhero cards were, were, were starting to get really big um and uh, marvel took advantage of this and then so did dc and then the the uh um fleet or fleer fleer cards you know like baseball cards then they made comic book cards and then fleer all of a sudden uh was bought by marvel and then the bottom dropped out of the market and and, and marvel went bankrupt <laughs> but so anyway so this is robin too this was a short series in like 91 or 92 i think and that's Joker holding a, a card. And I don't know who's on that card. It's not Robin, is it? It is Robin. And it's dope, y'all. Four issue miniseries. So they had like like three or four different Robin miniseries in the 90s. I have a third miniseries. But I never got the first or the second. Because it just was like 90, 91, right before I started really collecting. This is a great, this is a great find. I'm very excited about this. Um, it's in fine condition. It's in, I would say, good condition. And, uh, and that card is still, look at that. You can see the colors. You, and there's the red. There's the, there's the real color. Robin looks a little blonde. They should have darkened his hair a little bit. Because Robin is not blonde in canon. <laughs> there was a Robin 3000 in the 90s, and he was blonde. And then there was a girl Robin. She might have been blonde as well. Anyway, that's super exciting. That's super exciting. I can't wait to read this. This is worth the whole thing right here uh, for me. Ah, oh, that is so dope. All right. All right. Nice. Next. This is, oh, this is in terrible shape. I have no idea what this is. Robocop, oh, wait a minute now. That's just an ad. This, this doesn't even have a cover. This is just, this is just garbage. What the? 
there's a back fold-out? Okay. Yeah. So, I don't... <laughs> so, it wasn't even a great title. So, this is from the 90s. This is X-Men 2099. They had all their Marvel series as 2099. Spider-Man. And the, the art was terrible. <laughs> the stories were just lame. And, and someone... I don't even know why this is just this is just garbage. This is just they, they shouldn't even this is just garbage. Yeah. Garbage pile. All right, next. This one's in a plastic bag, so looking good. All right, here we go. Captain America first in the first 13 colonies. All right. Uh looks like they're Fighting the good fight back in World War II or something. Captain America's 70th anniversary. I don't know when that was. Um, it's a one-shot. So that's cool. A little one comic direct edition. Let's take a look. Let's see. You can see when it was. If there's some cool ads or something. Sometimes one-shots didn't have ads. I can't get it out. Never collected Captain America. I was it's just too silly and like yeah, it's a, a Captain America. I'm just really okay. Cause otherwise it's just like, hey, I'm blue and white shield guy. Mm. <laughs> Alright, it's fine inside. I don't know it's I think it's like from the two thousands. Don't get me wrong, the movie Captain America is dope. Alright. Chris uh his family is from around here. They were from uh, Sudbury. They went to Sudbury High School. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury, actually. And they tore the building down. All because of him. No. All right. Oh, man. Robin 2 again. Ha <laughs> ha! Number 3. Oh, this gets better and better. Look at that card. So now that card is Joker. That's pretty dope. So what did I have? The number 1? And this is number 3? Yes. <gasps> I wonder if there's number 2 in there. Guys. Guys. No, this is very exciting. So, okay. So here's the first one. Joker had a little card. Robin, and then Robin's like, "Have you, Joker? I got your card. Yeah, I'm flying through the sky. This is awesome, and it's in good condition. This is so cool, and I have no idea. Like, it, it looks like it's direct sales because it doesn't have a barcode on it. Usually, comic books had barcodes on them so that they could sell them at the cash register. That's how I got all my comic books. I didn't. I didn't know that there was anything such as direct editions. I just bought them at Coulson's." newsstand on the corner and the smell in there was awesome it smelled like newspapers and comic books and a little bit of cigars um and and candy and i would go there with my money from my uh a little money i made doing the paper route which is like tops if i had five bucks i was rich anyway all right here we go next one x-men archives featuring legion that's an interesting cover different art style neat very high contrast colors i like the pink and the blue i think that looks dope yeah, it's out of focus sorry yeah it's a limited series and 1994 oh this is cool too so there was a super nintendo game they made off of a spider-man character called carnage and it was called Maximum Carnage, and I remember that game for the Super Nintendo. I don't remember if it was a great game. I don't think it was. But you could play all the different characters, which was cool. Like, all, all we wanted was, like, the X-Men arcade game, or, like, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, which is a side-scrolling beat-em-up. And you just have powers, and you fly around the screen. That's, that's I, I still only want that. Like, if they made that out of the movies, they made all the different powers, and you can do stuff and team up, and th that's all I want. Hello, that's all I want. I don't want a 3D game, and I don't, don't want to have to spend forever... Like changing the the pictures of of the the thing. I don't want an RPG. I just want an action cool game. But I want it to be superheroes. All right, thank you. Oh, so here's a, here's what I was talking about before with cards. Here's the Ultra Fleer Fleer ninety five X Men. You know they were high quality cards. I have I have a few of these cards. Um, actually, I I got some cards recently. I'll show you. They had the Marvel Masterpieces section uh, selection that Joe Jusco started. They actually had comic books. I think I showed you that last time. 
But I don't know if I've showed you these. I got some cards. These are, this is from 92. You can see that. It's in focus. I like sparkly things, y'all. <laughs> I like Spider-Man and sparkles. 30th anniversary. Here's the back. Kind of neat. Choop. Kind of cool. It's just Spider-Man flying over the city. Yeah, yeah. That's what's great about Spider-Man and Batman. Both flying over the city. 30th anniversary, Spider-Man, and it's sparkly. So yeah, those make me happy. And I keep bowing around to remind me that Spider-Man is dope. All right, next. Captain America, the Korvax saga. It's a cool cover, some digital coloring I can see. So it's probably relatively recent. Like post 2000, I would say. Well, probably won't read it. <laughs> Don't care about Captain America in the comic. Doctor Strange, cool. I know some people like Doctor Strange. I don't get it. I, anything that has to do with magic, it's like, well, you're already breaking the rules. So where are the new rules as far as like what you can and what you can't do? I'm sure there are, but it's just like, uh, all right, whatever. I'm gonna open a portal. Well, okay, just open a portal then. Just, just, just solve cancer. Why don't, can, do you have the magic spell for that? No, well then why not? Sorry, I, I'm, I'm getting very annoyed. Marvel Comics presents Colossus in Black Panther. Colossus is cool because he turns into steel. Black Panther, super dope as well. That's these are two characters who look good together. I don't know when this is was from the early '90s or late '80s. I'm gonna say late 80s. 88, yep, I was right. Yeah, the inside art, sometimes the inside art is just like, just gross. Just, if you're looking at it, you're like, it's just sparse and the coloring is not awesome. It's just like, mm. so this is not a book I would have ever bought. All right, next. Some of these offloading all the Captain America stuff, Patriot. So I don't know if that's a different character. That's the Patriot character. Like there's a lot of like, hey, I'm like like the agent, like US agent or something. Hey, I'm Captain America, but I, I'm i not Captain America. I'm US agent. I'm Captain United States. <laughs> I'm Captain Mid-Atlantic States. I'm Corporal Maryland. <laughs> cool. Oh, this one is from Caffeinated Comics Company. Where is that? San Francisco. Nice. All right, next. Oh, so this this oh, this has some artifacts, y'all. We're gonna take we're gonna ex, we're gonna explore this. So I don't know exactly what this is. So this is Doctor Strange, and this is the cover. The now, I have no idea. Let me put that there. We're gonna try to read it. The Man, the Myth, the Magic, special bound to be controversial new book excerpt. Okay. <laughs> Comics are silly. What is happening? Uh, and there is a the a folded, I don't know if you can see that at the top. There's a folded over index card. So someone, someone put a bookmark in here. They were like, I can't read this whole comic book. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back. Hold on. Oh, man, I hope it has like a phone number or something. Because I will call it right now. Maybe it'll connect us back to like 1991. <gasps> Guys, I was kidding, but it... Guys! It's a phone number? Uh-uh. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, man. Uh, so it says days in. It's a 714 area code. I'm not going to read the number because, come on, don't, don't call this number. And it says mom's number, room log. So this was... This is somebody was staying in a, at a hotel, I guess, and it was mom. And this was the, her number there in the hotel room. And uh, it was keeping page 11. Which, what, what is this? This isn't a comic book. This is not a comic book. It is a comic book, but it's like a book with, with excerpts and chapters and stuff. I gotta read? I'm not here to read. I'm here to look at comic books. Look at this. 
See, that's what's the page it was keeping. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, nice artifact. Who knows what year this is from? Maybe from when this comic came out, which is, look, 1989. Oh, man. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fun. I might just call that number. Uh, yeah, that's going to be funny. Or I'll, I'll see if it's still a day's end for what it is now. I'm just looking for ads now. This is a quality comic. It's got decent artwork for the time and and stuff. All right. What's so weird? Now, Jameson Publications. Uh, I guess inside the realm of Captain of Doctor Strange, there's some some guy writing a book about him or something. Cool. You know, innovative, different. That's neat. Different storytelling techniques. Man, I gotta call mom at some point at the day's end, make sure she's okay. She, you know, she's from out of town. She's not used to the 741 area code. Batlash. DC. What is Batlash? Hooves of Fury. So, Wild West? Is that Batman? Or. Uh, it's from 2007. No, this is just its own little short thing. Okay, cool. Uh, but is it supposed to be like Western Batman? Like there was like a Western story where it was a Batman. And, no, but, but check it out. If you like Western stuff, classic crashing through the window with guns. Yeah, and then shooting everybody inside, I assume. I assume. But it's all bad guys, y'all. Only the bad guys got shot. Which is good. And they all survive. They're just wounded. And then stopped being bad guys. Became farmers. Next! Silver Surfer! I I literally owned zero Silver Surfer comics before now. So that's cool. Silver Surfer is a cool character. He was used on the cover of the Joe Satriani um, album Surfing with the Alien for years and years and years. And then they kept re-upping the, the license to use the character until like maybe five years ago and they were like, yeah, no, it's gonna be too expensive, prohibitively so. So, so, so it, okay, so it was cool for 35 years and now you're literally changing music history and making us change this cover? Ah, that's, breaks my heart, but whatevs. Silver Surfer. Surfer no more. Looks like Silver Surfer got shot. I don't understand who or what he is, and, um, but I'm interested to learn. This is from 2011. And uh, it looks like it's limited series, two of four. Pretty dope artwork. I hope the inside artwork is, is as cool. So, nice. That's a win as well. All right, come on. Come on, Robin. Give me some more Robin. I need all the issues in that limited series. Oh. Doctor Strange. Um, cool. I don't know much about Doctor Strange again. Um, it's neat artwork. My last rights. I like the the layout. It's kind of cool. I like what they did with the Marvel Comics logo. That to me is my favorite Marvel Comics logo. I like the uh, the negative space that they create in the M with the comics. Um, yeah, June seventy three. It's number seventy three, not nineteen seventy three. I'm gonna guess this is from the two thousands. Oh, even approved by the Comics Code Authority is stylized. This is a cool. This is a cool color. It looks like like gold ink on on the cover. Actually, um, we're very close to that. It's not um, embossed or anything, but it looks like it is a gold ink. This is neat. I'm gonna check this out. All right. Sorry, I pooped on Doctor Strange earlier. If you're a big Doctor Strange fan. All right. Blaze and Brandy, look out! uh cool artwork i like the texture on her her leggings there that's very cool and her brassiere very neat she got a gun it looks like steampunk or something going on so this is an indie comic i'm i'm assuming looks like it's from within the last 10 years 10 to 20 years because it's very uh digital artwork looking doesn't look like it was like it was hand drawn and then colored in by hand oh yeah there's definitely some photoshop texturing going on in her headset <laughs> Uh, very cool. Ooh, ooh, and it's signed. 
Oh, neat. So this is something. This is something cool. I'll show you. Right up here. That's a little silver ink. You might have seen it. But yeah, that's a signature. Blazing Brandy. Neat. I'll check that out. Next. Dark X-Men. Ooh. Interesting. I have no idea what's happening here. They're all blue, purple, They're like indigo. Neat. Also featuring X-Men, A Girl Called Hope, Part 2. Well, there you go. So these are evil X-Men, I guess? Yes. All right. It's a limited series, number one of five. So if I want to collect the rest of these, I will take a look. All right. All right, we're getting down to the last three. Ooh, I feel something thick, y'all. Oh, this is a good, this is a good box so far. I'm very happy with this quality. Another Doctor Strange. All right, so I like the artwork. Again, this looks like it's the same, yeah, it's in the same series as the last one that we saw. Digital, very digital, which is cool. So I'm going to say within the last 20 years. And, um, yeah, maybe this will get me interested in Doctor Strange. I don't know. Let me see when the year is of this. Sega Genesis, so in the 90s, right? 94. 94, and look, got the movie on the back. The Candyman. Which is a cool, cool movie poster. Oops. Cool. I've never seen The Candyman. Only through reputation. I don't think I like scary movies in general. No, I don't. <laughs> Ghost movies, like creepy like suspenseful movies but i don't think i like like shock scary movies it's just not my thing funny scary movies like i like i like scary movie zot what is zot i don't know is it that zot eclipse comics all right it's an indie from 88 neat i and the artwork is very, very, very interesting. It's black and white, so it's kind of it's kind of comic-y, um, but it's very cool. This is definitely interesting. Interesting work. Not your not your typical like superhero type style, like super realistic. -y. This is more cartoony, which I can appreciate. And there's an advertisement. Is it Ten Years of Comedy Eclipse Comics? So maybe it's a comedy comic. 78 to 88. I, I don't know of Eclipse Comics nowadays, so I don't know if they're still around. Cool beans. All right. Next. The Incredible Hercules. He's incredible and super powerful. Marvel. Recent. Probably not going to read this one. Next. So we got Spider-Man, the mostly recent, it looks like. Not in good shape, but I like the I like the illustration. That's a different style of illustration. It's pretty dope. So that's cool. Cool to see, cool, cool to look at. Um, I have no idea what the artwork looks like on the inside of it. Curious. So let's take a look. That, that usually makes a break for me. If I don't like the artwork inside, I'm not, I'm not going to buy the comic. I won't go to read it. Ooh. Oh, so this is, uh, this is interesting. From the PC audio days. Audigy 2. This is like late 90s. 24-bit sound blaster. So this was like really good, like, consumer sound blaster. <laughs> for all the games that had like MIDI sound and stuff, like, like uh, Tomb Raider. Or maybe it had wave sound, but... If it did have MIDI, then the orchestra was amazing with 24-bit ultra-realistic audio and effects for your PC. 2003. So, yeah. So, 2003. This is, like, right as I was getting out of college. Yeah. So, yeah. The artwork in this is super slapdash. And I would not buy this comic. This is not my style. 
not what I like. But hey, there's plenty for everybody. All right, getting down to it. We got two more left. And at the bottom is a, is a pretty thick book. It looks like it's a compilation. I'm very excited about that. All right, here we go. This is the second to last. Annual Punisher. I don't like the Punisher. I don't, I don't, I don't get the Punisher because he's just all about vengeance. And I think that's a vice, not a, not a good thing. So I like that Spider-Man is fighting him. Um, because I like Spider-Man. Uh, he's, I mean, and he's got bombs. Like he's cutesy about it and stuff. He's got a costume and everything, and he's got <laughs> like, like pumpkin bombs. Like why? But it's comics. You don't ask why. All right, this is the last one, and it's a book. And it could be really exciting or really uninspiring. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> so it's a kid's comic. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not in my realm of interest. And it's super dog-eared, y'all. This is a, this is, this was saved from the garbage bin. Yeah, I mean you can you can see this is this was this was like in a kindergarten class or something or some somebody somebody loved this a lot. It's in the garbage. Anyway, is that it? That's it. That's it. I hope that wasn't too snarky. I'm just letting off some steam about comics and stuff sometimes. Um, but I do like comics. Um, yeah, I got another mystery book coming shortly. Hopefully another mystery box so i'll go through that i've also been um buying a few back issues of certain titles that i always wanted so i'll show those as well uh, i'm really again excited about the robin that's very cool robin 2 it's so the two means that it was a limited uh, edition they had robin 1 and then they had robin 2 it was just it was the same robin i think it was tim drake at that point in the 90s but uh so there's been like three main canon well as far as i know there's probably been other robins as well there are three Robins. There was the first Robin, uh, Dick Grayson, who you know from like the 60s and stuff, who was in the, the 90s Batman movie. He became Nightwing. He grew up. Second one died, Jason Todd. But then he came back to life, <laughs> and now he's the Red Hood. Okay. Third is Tim Drake. That's my, my Robin when I started collecting Tim Drake. He's super dope. And... Uh, yeah, he just likes being Robin. He's like, yeah, I'll be Robin. What else? That's it. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, shall be you next time.